Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a quick tour of my Dungeon and Dragon vault that I've created and show you where I'm at and how everything works. Uh, I felt that showing a video would be a bit more practical than only sharing screenshots and writing about it. So this is the vault, the Dungeon and Dragon vault, as you can see here. Um, I've created a couple of folders just to keep things a little bit more organized. So I have a folder with this admin. This is simply me just personal note that I keep around uh, to help me remember how to do some things. An archive folder. It's currently empty, but I usually put every note I don't need anymore in there. So after a while, I can just do a little bit of triage and delete them for good. The attachments are simply all the images I would like to use. So, so, so far I've a bandits and aracocras and the goblin exer. Uh, they will be mostly used for monster. Then I have the bases. This is like a new feature in Obsidian. Not too new, but kind of new. Where I used to display all my notes in a table view. And this is really practical because when you add metadata with uh, YAML in your notes, you can then use the base view to sort them, for example, by names in alphabetical order, or simply filter the notes uh, altogether with uh, specific criteria. So I have a base for only the monster note and I'll and the same for magic items and spell and I'll show you how I did it uh, afterward and then the notes so all, all all the notes I've written some are bigger than others but all the notes I write are stored in the note folders so and they are not uh, categorized or organized they're all living within only one folder and I use the basis to view them organized in a specific way. Then the templates. Um, I'll show you, for example, the magic item templates. It's pretty small. So I have the name that I can use into um, my YAML um, metadata. So I can have a name, then also have a field for the rarity of the item. Is it rare or is it common? Uh, the item type, is it a wand? Uh, is it an armor? Is it a scroll? So a different type of item uh, you can use in Legend of Dragon. Does this item need attunement? And the description that I also write in the uh, Markdown body. Uh, as you can see, the monster template is a lot, lot bigger. Uh, monster stuff like require a lot more information. So we still have the name, but we also have the CR how much XP the monster give the party, the monster AC and HP, the initiative that I only write the bonus initiative. And I do the same for the ability score. So I only add the modifier for the saving throw and uh, <laughs> the modifier. Um, and other things like languages, the size, the group, the type, the treasure, the gears uh, is what are the immunities or resistances uh, of this monster. And for every template, everything I use also write the source. And there's also something different um, that I use for so far for the monster and the, and the magic item is the adventure field. So I've, like in a while when <laughs> more notes will be created, I'll also have the notes for the different adventure I have. So Fendel Vendelo, uh, Dragon of Iceberg Peak, uh, Curse of Strahd, etc. And I want to be able to categorize when I play one of these adventures, which monster are in it. So this is another way to reference them in the future. Uh, we'll continue with the spell. So the spell have the level, the duration, the casting time. Does it require concentration? Uh, what, what is the school? Um, 
the area? Is it like a cone or line or cube? Uh, the source, the effect, etc. So, what it's what it looks like. So, what the first one I want to show is the rule glossary uh, discussed in the article you just read. So, this is simply. I'll scroll this down. All the information you need. So you can see position, you can see proficiency, etc. But it would prone condition what it is. What is cool is that I've created the wiki links like I spoke about. So here, if I would like to understand what is speed or what is its advantage, I can simply over the text where a wiki link is, and there's a little pop up window that shows up that tell me, oh, disadvantage is uh, d20 test, you roll two d20s, and you take the less good <laughs> than a roll, roll, basically. So this here, it's simply referencing disadvantage, where here. So now you can see how powerful it can be, because let me show you. Uh, let me show you one of the base. Uh, so for the monster, I'm like thinking I'll maybe some duplicate because I have more than 500 monster. But uh, let's see, maybe one that. Okay, let me click on the Arakura uh, Aromancer. Um, so I can see here. So like I can see. Uh, that's multi-attack and it can also do spell casting and it says that at will you can cast gust of wind so now by just going over gust of wind i can offer a prompt and then i can see what the spell does which is super useful because i don't need to write the description of gust of wind within the arakokra notes i can simply self-reference it and i don't need to rewrite it anything or anywhere else. So there's things like that that you can see how powerful it can uh, become. So this is just one example of notes for Monster. But now I would like to simply show you the base. So here, you know, I have uh, all Monster, then I've created another uh, view for all the animal. But it doesn't work for now. <laughs> I just need to rework the filters. Uh, but here's is uh, the Heroes of the Borderlands, the new starter set adventure. And I was able to see that there's 42 monster in this starter set. And they're all referenced within this view because I've created a adventure tag with Heroes of the Borderlands. So in my base, I'll go back to monster. I can filter with, it filters all the note that has a base property of monster and that lives into the note folder. And <clears throat> so this is how it works for all the monster. But when I go to my view of Heroes of Borderland, there's an additional filter. So we have both the same and those are true for every views within the monster base file, but there's another one, which is where adventures contains heroes of the borderlands. Oops, heroes of the borderlands here. So now it filters out all the other monster that is not in this particular adventure, which is super neat. It just, you know, it's just fun. You can also over a monster. Um, so there you can see some are missing data. But you can see that you don't have to necessarily open. You can simply over, over the file name, and it will uh, display like that. So same for uh, spells and magic item. And yeah, it's just really fun and useful. Obviously, it took a while, but it is really gratifying to see everything comes together. And now I think I'm just going to take a little bit break <laughs> because it was an intense couple of days writing everything. 
now the plan is to simply do once in a while when I'm actually needing to see a specific note. Let's say I'm in, in an adventure and I'm facing a builder. If I see that the builder is missing some information, now is the time to update it. So I also wanted to show something that's not particularly useful, but is still fun to see. Is the grab view in Obsidian, where you can see every dot is a specific note, and the bigger the dot is, means that the bigger it is referenced elsewhere. So the big one in the middle, I'll just zoom in, so maybe you can see a little bit better. But you can see that the big one in the middle is the rule glossary, and all the, the lines means that something is related to that note because it used some of the information within. Uh, you can see, for example, the one of polymorph is, you know, connected to polymorph, probably because <laughs> it used that spell. So this is my small uh, preview. Uh, hope my English was good enough for you to understand everything, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, leave me comments and ask questions. I'll be happy to answer those. I love reading uh, every one of your comments. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.